Greetings, hawklings, cyber dogs, and fellow fishing enthusiasts. We are back with the Missouri map, believe it or not. And if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm trying to find a particular spot for this particular map. Now, just when you thought this was all over, guys, that you shouldn't have to come back to this place, guess what? Things have changed. And what I'm showing you here is what I'm talking about. This particular area right over here is of special interest since some of the new updates. Uh, this particular area is going to yield some pretty cool stuff. Uh, if you notice over there by that tree, just a little bit in front of it is where you want to be. At about, probably between 95 and 90 feet. And if you're fishing with either crawfish or the large minnows or even shiners, if you have advanced to that level, you're going to see something really interesting. And it only needs to be about 30 inches on your lead, guys. What I'm looking for here is the alligator gar. And the alligator gar was introduced right after the uh, Garwin event ended and I had actually just found out that it had uh, been introduced and this particular fish in real life is the largest fish in this game I don't believe they have the white surgeon which is the largest freshwater fish in North America but the alligator gar is the largest or second largest I'm sorry uh, freshwater fish in North America and therefore the largest one in this game. Now the average alligator gar in this game is going to probably be between about 28 and maybe 33, 34 pounds. But if you happen to be able to manage to land a trophy, we're talking anywhere from 80 to 100 pounds, guys. You're not going to catch this guy on light tackle. No way in, no way in the world. But anyway, just be patient, and you will see these guys. Alright guys, uh, it's been a little while that this has been floating downstream. Once it starts to get about to that tree over here, you probably want to go ahead and reel it in and recast it back out over to the, right before that other tree, which I'm going to do right now. This may take a few times, guys, so just be patient. Alright, right about... Right about there. This may be a little further than 90, so... I'm probably going to have to reel it in a little bit, but really close, as close to 90 as possible. That's that'll probably that's right on the money. Let's see what happens. Oh, well, looks like I got interest. Come there it goes. Excellent. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah I've got one. No doubt. No doubt in my mind. Excellent. Come on. Oh gosh, this guy's going to fight me. He is going to fight. Fish in the game. Come on. They are monsters, from what I understand. And this one definitely is one. my mic a little bit here. This thing is still... I... He is taking it out again. <laughs> I swear to God, these things are something else. Well, at least we got a little bit of a warm-up with those other Gar in the Garween event. Come on. Uh, can't seem to get it under 
There we go. Nope, nope, he's taking off again. Little bugger. My god. Well, he's not little. Little bugger's gonna take out the line again. Damn, I cannot get it under 20. And he's, whoa, he's... Sorry, guys, this has been going on for a while. <laughs> he just keeps grabbing it, taking off with it. And as soon as I get him close, he's gone again. He's got it out to past 70 now. Lord. Alright. I'll keep fighting him, guys. I don't know if this is a trophy or not, but he's definitely a big guy. Lord. My hand is even cramping. a little bit here because this in um, I'll take over when it starts getting closer come on fish you got to be getting tired by now Alligator Gar. 31 pounds. Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. And they... This is a baby. Yeah, this is uh, just a regular Alligator Gar. They can reach up to 9 feet long and weigh as much as 327 pounds. That's the record. That's a big fish. That's a. All right, guys, we're gonna give this another shot here. Now it's actually been another day. Um, I kind of missed the prime prime time, which is between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. If it's on a sunny day. Now, if this is on a cloudy day. These guys bite best between 1 a.m. I'm sorry, 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. So, if that helps any guys, and let me go ahead and pull this up again. And this is what I'm using at this point in time. I'm using a chubby bobber. I don't think that really matters so much. A three odd hook, a crawfish, and I've got the Halloween pole. But any large far caster would probably work just fine uh, and I've got 0 0.012 which is 12 pound test line now I'm gonna change one more thing this time I've caught the one gar off of the 3 odd hook that was a regular size gar I wanna see if I can catch one of the big ones just just for giggles here let's see don't have any luck we'll just go for the big guys let's see I've got a biggest hook I have here well a 10 odd hook is kind of maybe a little too big well maybe not let's try it this is a massive hook and just like I said before about 90 feet Let's reel it in. A little bit more. That's good. Now, if I lock into one of these guys, I will be shocked. 
Of course, the trick's going to be to bring him in. Anyway, let's wait and see if we have any takers. Now I'm going to try this a couple of times let it float on down like I did before. But uh, I think this time if I don't get anything after a couple of tries, I'm going to put a smaller hook on. Maybe like a 5 aught or a 6 aught. Alright guys, we are at that green tree again, so it is time to reel it in and try it again. where a lot of patience comes in guys. Now I'm going to take it a little bit further closer to that willow looking like tree. Alright, I'm almost to the right spot to be honest. Eh, that's probably good enough. be interesting if I got some interest. It's like my imagination starts to play with me and I'm almost sure I'm seeing some kind of movement. But Alright, it's about time to reel this in and we're going to put a smaller hook on here this time. Because I have not sparked any interest so far. Let's see here. Let's go with a 5 aught. Still pretty good size. Now, whether it'll attract the interest of a trophy, I couldn't tell you. Well, that's not. <laughs> Wasn't even close. Talk about a bad cast. Okay. Try that again. There we go. Of course, that's way too far. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm getting something interested in this. I don't know what. But there's no questioning it. And it didn't wait for 90 feet. There we go. There we go. And it's big. Whatever it is, it is big. And it's after six. <laughs> we'll go figure that out. Yeah, well, this is big. This is big. This is going to take us a minute, guys. Oh, I hope I have enough line. <laughs> oh, boy. He's not even budging. He is not even budging. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to have to work at this guy. Don't know that he's a trophy, but he's a he is a gar. There's no doubt. I'm not making any progress here. <laughs> Actually, he's making progress. Keep bumping. 
in my microphone. All right, he's out to 100 and almost 160 feet now. Okay, he's almost straight out in front of me now. It's making it a little trickier. This is kind of reminding me of when I caught that trophy flathead. How hard I had to work to get him in. And even if I get him in close, that doesn't mean that he isn't going to run for it again. them in the 130s. Come on, let's get in the 120s here. Come on. That isn't happening. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Please don't make this into some fish story. I almost had him. And he broke the line. Okay, we're in the 120s now. Alright, he's softening up a little bit. Come on, fish. Either he's getting tired or he's just swimming towards me, but I'll take it. <laughs> All right, we're in the seventies, pushing the sixties now. Fifties. Now, what's probably going to happen is the same thing that Delacava talked about when he was going after the those huge pikes in Michigan. He's probably going to get in the twenties and then take another f stretch and try to run for it. I get lucky. Come on, I'm almost there. There he is. Wow. 30 pounds, 52 inches, 156 points. He wasn't a, he wasn't a trophy, but he's still a healthy fish. Well, guys, that was definitely worth it. I think this definitely deserves some kind of a trophy shot there. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and keep this guy. Anyway, I think that's enough for one time here. So, guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'm going to keep trying to get that big guy, the big trophy. But, and if I do, I will make sure I'm always recording when I'm going after these guys, just in case. So, and I will, you know, kind of throw in a quick video of when I pull his, pull his butt in. <laughs> anyway, guys, I will talk at you later. Bye-bye.
feet and if you're fishing with either crawfish or the large minnows or even shiners if you have advanced to that level you're gonna see something really interesting and it only needs to be about 30 inches on your lead guys what I'm looking for here is the alligator gar and the alligator gar was introduced right after the uh, Garween event ended and I had actually just found out that it had uh, been introduced and this particular fish in real life is the largest fish in this game. I don't believe they have the white sturgeon which is the largest freshwater fish in North America but the alligator gar is the largest or second largest I'm sorry uh, freshwater fish in North America and therefore the largest one in this game. Now the average alligator gar in this game is going to probably be between about 28 and maybe 33, 34 pounds. But if you happen to be able to manage to land a trophy, we're talking anywhere from 80 to 100 pounds, guys. You're not going to catch this guy on light tackle. No way in, no way in the world. But anyway, just be patient, and you will see these guys. All right, guys, uh, it's been a little while that this has been floating downstream. Once it starts to get about to that tree over here, you probably want to go ahead and reel it in and recast it back out over to the right before that other tree, which I'm going to do right now. All right. This may take a few times, guys, so just be patient. Right about, right about there. This may be a little further than 90, so I'm probably going to have to reel it in a little bit, but really close as, as close to 90 as possible. All right, that's that'll probably that's right on the money. Let's see what happens. Well, it looks like I got interest. Come, there it goes. Excellent. Yeah, I think, yeah, I've got one. No doubt. No doubt in my mind. Excellent. Come on. Oh gosh, just, he just keeps grabbing it, taking off with it. And as soon as I get him close, He's gone again. He's got it out to past 70 now. Lord. Alright. I'll keep fighting him, guys. I don't know if this is a trophy or not, but he's definitely a big guy. Lord. My hand is even cramping. Alright, I'm going to pause a little bit here because this, in, um, I'll take over when it starts getting closer. Come on, fish. You've got to be getting tired by now.
Greetings hawklings, cyber dogs, and fellow fishing enthusiasts. We are back with the Missouri map, believe it or not. And if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm trying to find a particular spot for this particular map. Now, just when you thought this was all over, guys, that you shouldn't have to come back to this place, guess what? Things have changed. And what I'm showing you here is what I'm talking about. This particular area right over here is of special interest since in some of the new updates. Uh, this particular area is going to yield some pretty cool stuff. Uh, if you notice over there by that tree, just a little bit in front of it is where you want to be at about probably between 95 and... You guys going to fight me. He is going to fight. Fish in the game. Come on. They are monsters, from what I understand. And this one definitely is one. my mic a little bit here. This thing is still... I... He is taking it out again. <laughs> I swear to God, these things are something else. But at least we got a little bit of a warm-up with those other Gar in the Garween event. Come on. Uh, can't seem to get it under... There we go. Nope, nope, he's taking off again. Little bugger? My god. Well, he's not little. Little bugger's gonna take out the line again. Damn, I cannot get it under 20. Ah, he's. Whoa, he's. Sorry, guys, this has been going on for a while. 